Welcome to My Odd Speaks and welcome to another episode of My Odd Wednesdays. I am happy that you joined me again today as we continue to dive deeper into the principles of My Odd. On this channel, we aim to bring Ma'at, also known as Balance, back to our communities through the seven principles of Ma'at, which are truth, order, justice, balance, harmony, reciprocity, and righteousness. During Ma'at Wednesdays, we take a deeper dive into the principles so that we can learn how to apply these principles in our daily lives and use them to build unity in our families and community. Last week, we discussed the principles Harmony and Umoja. So if you did not watch that video, I do suggest you watch that video first and then come back to this video. So again, Ma'at, the Netaret or Goddess of Divine Order, Truth, Balance and Justice, teaches us how to bring balance and order into our lives through the seven principles of Ma'at in order for us to reclaim who we are and make the most of our lives and manifest in the subconscious and conscious world. Remember family, as we embark on self-transformation, we self-reflect, acknowledge the changes we need to make, and apply the changes needed on a personal level which can have a great impact on our relationships and affect how we develop the code and culture in our own homes and community. We will continue reading from the book, The 14 Keys, Power, Unity, and Success Unlocked. Today, we will continue to learn how to apply the principles within our community using the Nguzo Saba, which are also known as the Kwanzaa Principles. These principles provide us with a framework to transform the self. The seven principles of Kwanzaa are not just meant to be implemented during the seven days of Kwanzaa, which are December 26th through January 1st, but are meant to be implemented in our day-to-day -day lives while incorporating our community, self-image, and interest. The name Kwanzaa comes from a phrase of Swahili origin, Matunda Ya Kwanzaa, and translates as first fruits of the harvest. We will use the principles of Ma'at to unite the internal concepts of Ma'at and the external concepts of the Nguza Saba. Today, we will be uniting the internal principle truth with the external principle Kuji Chakalia, which can be translated as self-determination. If you remember the principle truth that we discussed during episode one, we learned how truth is not the same as a fact. As a fact is an agreed upon concept of the majority. Truth is the center of all in existence and evolves as the laws of the universe do. Remember, in order to project our true self, we must first possess the truth inside. We are uniting the Ma'alik principle truth with the Kwanzaa principle Kuchi Chakalia, which means self-determination. The Kwanzaa principle is stated to define ourselves, name ourselves, create for ourselves, and speak for ourselves. Defining oneself is just as important as defining the collective. Self-defining means to define our own lives, our limitations, and boundaries. By doing so, we cannot easily be influenced by foreign forces. Chief Yua tells us that a name is a vital fraction to one's self-actualization. A title can bring out the highest value or it can subdue the greater value in a force. Each name that one is given or one takes on for themselves has a decisive syllabic value and frequency resonance. It is through sound frequency that we invoke spirits. So each time we accept a name for ourselves, we are in fact invoking a certain spirit within ourselves. 
So defining ourselves means that we look to our higher consciousness and project towards the collective. If we refuse to define ourselves through conscious self-determination, we are still creating unconsciously, thus unconsciously creating discord and dis-ease. Chief Yua further states that being ourselves can be seen as an act of aggression. Our groups, the collective, must contain the cornerstone of truth to provide a standard of behavior and mission template for its members. Dr. John Henry Clark states, to control the people, you must first control what they think about themselves and how they regard their history and culture. And when your conqueror makes you ashamed of your culture and your history, he needs no prison walls and no chains to hold you. So let us apply the Ma'alik principle truth to the Nguza Saba principle Kuji Chakalia from the book of the 14 Keys, Power, Unity and Success Unlocked by Chief Yua. Truth, Kuji Chakalia. Truth is a living cognition with an artful nature. Truth sits at the foundations of the universal wisdom shared among world cultures. The identical vein that runs through various religions and spiritual practices is the manifestation of the self-determining nature of truth. Planet-wide truths are branches from the same root. Diversification is its means of survival. By being self-defining, self-determining, self-naming, and self-owning, truth finds new branches of growth. Truth is the sincere form of all forces, so when those forces create a character which defines its own avatar, truth distributes. This core essential substance we call truth is the will of all phenomena. It has no inclination of morality, so it cannot be regulated to good or bad. Truth is not judged by its manifestations, but by its relevancy to the quality of the observer's life. Those who are purposed to extend their rationing of the truth substance beyond themselves carry the burden of the teacher avatar. A teacher differs from an educator. A teacher projects truths outwards, while an educator draws the truth out of an individual. In either case, both teacher and educator are often despised for their clear sense of self and their determining of boundaries and responsibility. Many do not want the responsibility of a free mind that functions from a truth imperative, nor do they want the control accountability that comes along with self-determination. Manifesting purpose in the context of a local or global community may require the individual to take on an unpopular role because the spirit of Kujichakalia that resides in the communal body mandates it. If that role has no previous plot for victory or it is a new adaptive position that the spirit of the community has created as a means of survival, it may require one to exist in relative social alienation inside of the communal body. This is when the faith of Kujichakalia is tested. Rebelling against an established order is not requisitely an act of self-definition or self-reclamation. The rebellion must be rooted in truth. If a rebellion is rooted in authenticity, then it will adapt and change as cogency grows by observation, experience, and research. There is one truth with many avatars. The responsibility of those avatars are to model self-determination 
so the apexes of truth can be expanded. This is the end of the chapter. Next week, during Ma'at Wednesdays, we will link the principles of reciprocity and Ujama, which means cooperative economics. Again, if you would like your own copy of Chief Yuwa's book, the link is in the description. Comment below, family, and give me your thoughts on truth and the principle Kujichakalia and how we can apply this to the collective. Again, thank you for watching. Peace, family. See you next time.